It looks terrible, but... It's Jamchester 2017, I'm Nathan Ray, and here we have Team Grumpy Pug. So, uh, Green, uh, Team Grumpy Pug, can you say uh, who you are and where you're from? Sure, my name's Quang, um, and I'm from London. I'm Tishan, I'm also from London. Yeah. My name's Jules, I'm from London. Good. And how do you guys know each other? <laughs> met online, met friends, acquaintance of acquaintance. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't work together then uh, professionally? No, not at all. No. Although me and Quang know each other kind of through the industry. Tashan is kind of an added extra person that we added on to the side. He's been wonderful so far. So you're definitely not a student team then? Is not a student team, no. Um, although I do this in my spare time. Um, Tashan is a graduate and Jules does this as his day job, I guess. Yeah, this is making games is my day job. I actually work on Hyperlight Drifter and this is something that I do for fun. Okay, so and what's your idea for the Shaping the Future concept? And, uh, well, ultimately children are the future, so we decided to make the game about creating children from two parents. So you choose two parents with some attributes, you mix them together, and then you then play the child in a 90s slasher movie. And if you get to the end, when the when, when the kid survives, obviously Jason Voorhees with the, with the chainsaw, you manage to kill him, the child then grows up to become the next generation. And that's it, shaping the future. Every single iteration makes things a little bit different. So I thought the eugenics was gonna be the most disturbing part of the game. Well, we're not, we're not gonna comment on that, we're not coming on that. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's kind of one of the subtext, but that's obviously not what we're trying to get across at all. It's more just the fun of, of running around in a 90s slasher movie. And are you designing some assets? Yeah, so I am the pixel artist for the team and I've created a bunch of assets to you. So I've done it in a way so we can interchange freely between different people. Yeah, yeah, so you can pick pick the uh, random or oh, randomly generate kind of uh, yeah. two parents at the beginning of the game, is that yeah. right, Cameron? Um, so these are all the character design stuff and on the right side I'm building tile sets for the actual stage. Yeah. As well. Yeah, there's a lot of work going into this. Tashan's done an amazing job. I had a few drawings here before, but... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, concept art, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, yeah. The That's game good. itself um, will play through as like a an arcade, uh, almost maze-style running runner. You run around, you grab some weapons. If you have the right attributes, you can use those weapons. If not, you're kind of screwed. And are you building the uh, the, the uh, game here? The developing so, yeah. um, Julian would do most of the coding. Um, yeah. I'm taking a producer role here, uh, running around looking after our two wonderful team members, and also filling in any other gaps that need to be done. So, things like audio and things like that. Yeah. Sounds good. And uh, what are you building the uh, game in? Uh, we're using Game Maker Studio 2, which is a little bit niche, but it's something that I'm very comfortable with. I use it professionally, so this is. So, yeah, yeah I'm in my zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm in my so, zone. It's better than Unity. Better than Unity. <laughs> 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 Gotta get the digs in, yeah. Oh, to, to the sponsors, though. Yeah, yeah. So, right. don't tell them. I've got Game Maker Studio 2 t shirt that I'm gonna yeah, wear yeah. tomorrow. So. Do you wanna do a dig for Google Cloud Platform? Or oh, I haven't, I haven't used it. I wouldn't like to comment. Okay. I wouldn't like to comment. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Um, and uh, have you guys in hit any problems yet that you've uh, that you've had to solve? Or, um? Oh yeah, every single line of code is a problem, <laughs> and every single line of code is a solution at the same time. Um, but yeah, we're trying to target mobile devices, so it's super accessible for everyone to use. Uh, unfortunately, all mobile devices are slightly different, so you have to kind of compensate for all the different yeah, what you call device fragmentation. Yeah, but yeah it's Scaling complicated. Oh yeah, changing the screen size, making sure it all works properly and smoothly on every device is a massive headache, especially in less than two days. Um, okay. So you've yeah. got almost exactly 24 hours left now. Do you think you'll uh, have something to show for it at the end of end of this? <laughs> Smile. No, yeah, yeah, we we'll definitely have something to show. Sorry, I was like half awake. Can you answer yeah. that question? Um, have you got any sleep so far? Yeah, I've got sleep. I've got a lot. Didn't mean like. <laughs> Didn't mean like I'm tired halfway <laughs> when my attention just slipped for a second. No, yeah, we definitely have something to show. Excellent. Right, thank you very much guys. Yeah, thank you very much. See you later. Bye.